Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. So today I'm going to make a really quick video. Um, you know, obviously I've taken a few weeks off from making videos, and, but over that time I got a ton of emails about this problem. So I'm going to address it really quickly because I've been getting this email for several years and, you know, I always like type out the answers, but I'm going to make a video. So for those of you who get that dreaded disk too slow error message, um, you know, it sounds like a lot of you are on desktops that are older or laptops. Um, and so there's a couple of really easy sort of house cleaning things you can do and then some simple things you can do uh, in GarageBand. And I'm going to talk about those things that are sort of free up some memory on your computer. So hopefully it doesn't keep coming up with that same error message. So the very, very first thing I'm going to talk about is here in GarageBand. If you go up to the track pull down menu, which is here at the top where it says track and you go down, this is the most powerful thing you can do here. Uh, show track lock. It's right here. Uh, okay, so I put that in and what it did was make this thing appear in this little group of buttons on the left here. So now I have the record arm and disarm, mute, solo, and locking the tracks. Now basically what locking the track does is it actually will, if I hit lock track, right, and then I hit play, it will do this. And you can see that it is now locking this track down. Um, hold on. <laughs> so what that basically did was kind of export the file and make just an audio file inside of the project. So it removes my ability to edit any of the sounds that are on that. And I can just show you now if I go in here, all of the you know, the compressors, the bass reduction, the auto filter, all of those things have been grayed out because I no longer have control over them because the track is locked. But if you're running tons of tracks, like a lot of vocal tracks or a lot of guitar tracks, whatever, if you're running a lot of tracks and you're not working on them in that moment, go ahead and lock as many of the tracks as you can. And then, you know, you'll have to sit there as the computer processes those files. But once they're processed, you should be able to, you know, just play, hit play and mix without getting that disk too slow error. Now, the other thing I'm going to say is a lot of times, you know, when I get projects from people uh, to mix, one of the things I see is extraneous plugins being on, even if they're not doing anything, like they might all be set at zero or something, um, but they're actually on. So what I would recommend, you know, to you guys, I'm trying to get to a one where there's lots of stuff to look at, like here. So, um, you know, any of these plugins, if you're not using them, like just turn them off. You know, if, if like you have it all set to zero, don't run them. The other thing is if you're running like T-Rex from iKai Multimedia, if you're running those T-Rex uh, plugins, try not to run like T-Rex 3 in every single channel that's going to bog your computer down a lot so you know just remember turn off plugins that you're not using and if they're not being used go ahead and select you know empty or none at the top here and just give yourself the empty slot and that will free up you know some ram and the more you do that across the board that's you know it'll free up more and more so locking the tracks is the most important and most powerful thing you can do. And then shutting off all the extraneous plugins that you're not using um, is another great thing you can do. So that's it, you guys. Pretty simple, easy video. Hopefully this helps a lot of you guys and answers that dreaded disk too slow question. Um, I'll see you guys very soon. I have lots of new videos coming out, lots of new topics. And we're going to be talking about here. Check this out. Just this will probably be one of my new videos coming up just because I did this song recently. And it's one of the most like badass, like ball breaking, like low end, crunchy electric guitar here. Listen to this. This is the outro of this video, by the way. <laughs> How cool is that, right? And I think it's even missing like a bunch of the acoustic guitar part because I just changed it. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to be talking about how to get some big, beefy electric guitars and uh, all that kind of stuff in the future. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys very soon. All right. Have a great day. Later.